All right, welcome back, everybody. We're now going to look at a perspective of different networks. We talked about the TCP IP model already, more or less, a little overview of it, what they are. But not all networks are equal. They are not. Not to, from the devices that we use, from the configurations that we use, everything is different. So I made two examples. Here you will see a home network, obviously. You know, I don't have, you know, Comcast router or things like that. So basically, what do we have here? We have a wireless router, and this is like a Linksys type router, okay, or D-Link or whoever, okay, uh, that's giving wireless connectivity in your bedroom, in your study room, in the family room, by the pool, where you're at, in the bathroom. Don't do that. I've troubleshooted that before. A guy called in, says, yes, my, my laptop broke. Uh, it just went up into smoke, and I asked, well, where are you? I'm in the bathroom. Well, why are you in the bathroom with your laptop? He says, well, I was going to take a shower, and at the hot rod run, the steam came up. Well, the steam obviously went inside your laptop, and you fried your freaking laptop. So don't, you know, we know we get wires in the bathroom. Don't take your laptop in the bathroom, okay? But anyway, small office, home office network, right, if you want to call it that. Uh, but that's a common home network, common. We know we have individuals that have racks and servers and sands and everything inside their homes but for the normal individuals that are out there for the everyday user they have this they have their wireless router they'll have a switch possibly if they wanted to connect other devices to it wired okay which i do i do and then you have your obviously the modem slash router that they have in your particular network to get you out into the internet into the internet and here we have a business. This is a business, right? You have the third floor, the second floor, the first floor, and it's all VLAN out. We have the accounting department, the finance department, and the HR department. And we also have the company router, and of course, to get out to the internet. The difference is here is that we have more different types of equipment, but we also have different types of configurations. There's a very basic configuration. These laptops, as you can as you will see now all right i'll bring it up so you can see it desktop and not there okay i'll do an ip config ip con i can't even see all right ip con uh, fig no oh ip config all right it's getting uh dhcp an ip address automatically all right and a gateway automatically you're not getting it, you know, statically. I should have just shown you right here, really. That would have been a lot easier just to show you right there. Oh, I am doing it statically. Ah, never mind. That's what I do because when I set up wireless, I always I have the habit already of putting everything statically. I disable the ACP and all these things, but when we enter security, we'll talk about that. But I do disable the ACP and all that. If I go to users, which I've done in the past, I do that for them as well. MAC addressing, all these different things that you can do but this would be in a home network here we definitely we have uh, a core switch which has all the vlans which they populate down to through the trunks and then here you have the vlans where you assign them to the access ports and of course those access ports you turn off spanning tree you put in switch port security i didn't put any firewalls but definitely in networks, you will be using firewalls. You can either put them uh, before the router uh, or after the router, before the router, or before the router, what would it be? I guess based on the perspective, before and after the router, you can put them one in between right here, each VLAN. You could do that for an overkill, right? You can set up you know, global servers, email servers, all these different things. So there are different types of networks out there. They're not all the same. They're not all running the same type. They're all not running Cisco. They may be running D-Link. They may be running Network. They may, no, not Network. <laughs> they may be run, they could be running Network. I don't know. They, they could be running Juniper. They could be running a whole bunch of different routing types, F5, all different types of routers. But essentially, the concepts of networking is the same, that we want to get from point A to point B without having to use our sneaker net, right? We don't want to have to walk anywhere to give people information or send it through email, the Pony Express, or whatever the case may be. 
We want to send it through our network to get to our wide area network, and we want to do that securely. So depending on where you're at, and unfortunately, when it comes to home networks, there is a lack <clears throat> excuse me, of security because people do not pay attention to that, and that's where we come in. This is our job. Even though we're already working in an IT field or an IT department, hey, but it never hurts to do things on the side. You go out there and you educate or you, you help people and say, hey, say, listen, it could be your friends, it could be your family members. You should do your wireless this way. You should configure this. You should buy a software firewall. You should buy a hardware firewall and explain to them and even maybe help them configure it and secure it. But definitely not all networks are equal. When we're talking about wide area networks here, are we running MPLS? Are we running uh, DMVPNs? Are we using BGP routing protocols, routing protocols in itself? So all these things that as a user, you really don't do. What do you do? You go to the store down the street, you buy yourself a wireless router, you plug it into a wall, you plug it into a switch, there you're done. You're networking, right? Or you plug it into your modem, because nowadays modems have modem slash routers. Just plug it in and you're done. And you're done. And everybody, you're pretty much in your neighborhood, can get your wireless unless you secure it. And then everybody's online. Okay? So that's one thing that the Cisco wants you to be aware of. They want you to be aware of the fact that not all networks, and not only not all networks, not all devices. These are 1841 routers. There's different types of routers out there. There's different type of iOSs. Just like in Microsoft, are you going to be using Windows 98 nowadays, Windows 95? I think not, right? We're going to be using the latest and the greatest, right? We're going to be using Windows 2010, or some of us are still using uh, 2000, uh, what was it? Windows 7. I'll stay in my office. Windows 7, okay? That We're going to use the latest technology because it, everything has an update, everything to bug fixes, right? We're, the back doors are being closed. There's more security. There's, you know, there's all things that they've upgraded to help us not only navigate the operating system, but to also give us features that will help us um, secure our network, secure our network. So these are things as users, regular everyday users don't know, but this is our job. We should try and educate as many people as we can. And hey, it's money on the side. And here in your IT, in your field, in your job, definitely you need to make sure that all the equipment that you have, that you be aware of all their features. That's why licensing is now part of the CCNA 200-125 exam, okay? Uh, you'll need to know about that because every operating system, every iOS, will bring a certain feature set and you need to activate that feature set. Okay, so you need to make sure that they're all up to date, all right, and you know what they are, what they're for, and how to configure it. Well, there you go. These are our both our different types of networks that we deal with, and as we go along, we'll definitely look at other types or different configuration of networks when we start creating our topologies with our different routing protocols. I'll see you then.